To summarize, in order to create an LED, we can follow a two stage process. First identify the pause points in a lecture in order to identify the topics and the chunks that constitute an LED and then to identify the points in an LED where we want to provide learner engagement and connect by introducing reflection spots. In some cases you may have the reflection spot in the beginning of the LED. In other cases, you may want to introduce them in the middle, while in yet other cases, you may have them towards the end of the LED. All of these are fine. One point to keep in mind is that it is necessary to close the loop for the learner by providing a commentary on what could be the different responses that the learners have given in the content that follows the reflection spot. This ensures that an LED is truly a dialogue between the instructor and a learner and not simply a one-way transmission of information.